Okay, here in the last part, we're going to show you some advanced feature. Uh, for example, um, uh, rigid flexible dynamic analysis and also some parameters to study on this. So I'm going to make this uh, lower part as flexible and see if it's uh, strong enough for the new load that we have in the system. It's as easy as just click on the part and make it flexible. Very much we're done. It's, it's as easy as that. In the mesh, if you want to just create a better mesh on that, you can do that. But you can use the default. Let me generate the mesh and you can see that. So, but if you want, you can refine the mesh here. Let's do that very quick. Okay, so I define a refine a mesh here. Go and check out, it's really fine. So let's run this and check out the result of the fine mesh. Okay, the solution is done. Let's check out the stress for this part. I have selected one mesh as a stress. Let's wait some time. Okay, so if I play this, you can see how this part as it moves. You can see that the stress just goes between zero and about 100 megapascal, which max happened at this point. Okay, here how we can do a flexible analysis. If we want to do actual design for this, probably need to do lots of iteration on the stiffness and make sure that you can find the stiffness damper in the available catalog. For that reason, uh, you might need to run more than 10 or 20 uh, analysis with different design points. And the easiest way to do that is define uh, the spring and damper of the shock absorber as a parameter, also the free links, and then in the output data, we can extract the total deformation, for example, as the average total deformation on of the car as one design parameter. The acceleration on the driver head sh for sure should be the maximum as one design parameter. Else we can find the maximum stress, but so let's also go for that. This is, a, you, sh you should do that over the time. Okay, it's maximum over time. Okay, about the result. Okay, so if you do that, you go to your workbench project page. You see a parameter set here. When you click on that, you have the option to define as many design points that you need. And just run all of them and come up with the optimized spring damper for this car. For example, it's just going to do that 200, 10, and you can play with any variable you want. Hope this helps you for your future uh, project. Thank you so much.